Those votes are stolen. The rubbish is stolen. The votes. Designers, the Vikings. They stole the To give you some feedback inside uh, the IEC right now is that myself, along with Cameron Dugmore from the ANC, Avril Harding, our political analyst, and a few others have, on behalf of many parties, drafted the letter. And this letter, in terms of Section 55 of the Electoral Act, uh, speaks to the aspect of objections that were supposed to be raised by 9 o'clock tonight. We've asked for indulgence in terms of an extension to raise objections, noting the amount of objections that are coming in from all parties at the moment, citing many irregularities and issues across the board in terms of people claiming that certain votes are not counted or the votes are not there and all kinds of things going on. But you can follow that process. But um, we chatted to a few people to see what's going on here. From the Allied Movement for Change, or, uh, AM4C, we uh, are, have got reports from our voters also that says that we voted for you in a certain place, but on those, those particular tallies, there's absolutely no votes. So something is going on. We need to find out. So what is particularly peculiar is the fact that this whole house and this whole floor here at the centre has um, come together and stood up as one collective. Um, and everybody, everybody um, in this meeting um, decided that a, a joint statement and a joint uh, uh, course of action should be embarked upon. Um, the only uh, party who did not participate in this was the Democratic Alliance. And that um, is a cause for concern that um, the Democratic Alliance, who normally um, pretends to agitate and be agent of, the, of a combined uh, opposition force, suddenly, suddenly decides that they are above, they're not interested in this joint action. And so. That is the question at, that's at, uh, at stake here. Now we've launched yesterday already, started to launch complaints yesterday already uh, with the IEC uh, pertaining to the voting and so forth and the other. And we fully concur with all the other parties. There's a lot of discrepancies that's happening and we'd love to see that the process must be addressed if we speak to a fair process. For now it's not a fair process, definitely not. I think we are getting a raw deal. Yeah, we as Aljama, we support the letter and the request for the condonation for extra 48 hours as we have been receiving an influx of concerns raised by the citizens of South Africa. So we hope and that as soon as possible that the response is provided and the time is provided in order to sort these issues out. We realize that our people on the ground has been complaining about certain irregularities regarding firstly part one of chapter four of the electoral act stipulates that we allow to object in terms of section 25 regarding the proceedings that took place on the day of elections and that is what we're objecting to the second part of chapter four allows us to object with regards to the counting that took place at the venue at the voting station we our party agents were one not allowed to be present when the county took place. They were asked to be remove themselves from the, the venue. Number two, they were not allowed to engage with the presiding officer to raise the objection or ask questions of clarity. Number three, the final counting slip was not allowed to be issued, which is supposed to be in terms of transparency, be pasted on the venue's door and photos were supposed to be taken. That is according to what the IEC explained to us our rights are. Those rights were violated and taken away from our party agents. Number three, with regard, or, or let me rather say, with regards to the count itself, we've experienced that our members, our branch exco members, their family voted at a particular voting station, and there were many of them where they confirmed the vote for national, provincial, and regional. When the count came in, 
There was zero for national, zero for regional, but only some of the votes for provincial was disclosed and recorded on the IEC's records, which indicates that our votes were taken away from us, which means our constitutional rights to have a free and fair election has been taken away from us. And on that basis, we are calling for a recount. And if the merits requires us for a re-election, that is what we will call as a National Council Congress. You have the Muslim DA councillors and rubbishes that are here. The DA rubbishes Muslims that are here, that stands with oppression. And they are in this and they're part of it. Therefore, this must be challenged.